Definitely two very quality teams going at it and looking forward to seeing how it plays out. With that said, we are already pretty well developed into this draft, so let's start. Uh, well, before we get into that, of course, got to introduce my co-caster for today and going to be joined once again by St. Rocks coming back. St., how's it going again? Um, it's going good. I uh, I managed to get some good sleep, so um, my wisdom tooth is uh, eh, we I'm fine. We have a we have a treaty here. I get to sleep, and uh, then he can he's gonna mess with you when I'm awake. So Very yeah, good. I'm good. I'm looking forward to the series, definitely. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, th this is obviously one of the more quality series we could ask for nowadays. Uh, expecting a, a good match to be had, so. Um, we are almost even done with the draft, though, so let's start getting into what we actually see here. The initial bands, it was Swiftblade, Tremble, Clanks, and Midas. Uh, we had Parasite into Dr. Repulsor, Aluna into Torturer, and Magnus into Legionnaire. We got the BMG going to Legionnaire here, and then you see the next following picks, Prisoner coming out for Complexity. Buzzy Sloth's been playing a lot of that and very well lately, and you got Valkyrie, oh, yeah. of course, coming out from BMG even. So a couple of interesting things here. Well, what is your take, St. Rox? Um, I'm wondering what how they're gonna be laning this legionnaire because uh, BMG did something funky with like laning legionnaire and then pulling him into the jungle. Um, after he got, like no, it was like Midas in the mid lane and then legionnaire starting jungling mm -hmm. and then Midas would go. Uh, yeah, they, they, I'm I'm a little bit <laughs> focused here on the legionnaire. I, I'm not sure they're gonna lane it completely standard. So, um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to see what happens here. And, of course, like, Fuzzy and his prisoner, that's just a super strong hero-player combination. Um, so definitely looking forward to some action in the mid lane. Yeah, yeah, this definitely takes me back to when Kraken was still a part of the team uh, before DreamHack and whatnot, you know, the end of Haunter Season 3 especially. They, they, they really started to bust out this new style of idea, this new strategy with that Legionnaire. So... Kind of, and you know, we, we talked about that yesterday. The several times we did cast them, actually, they ended up playing three matches yesterday, so they've already played plenty. Um, but they've been kind of going back to the roots a bit. You got Boxing yeah, playing yeah. as Kinesis several times. We've seen the accursed uh, Valkyrie lane, and what wouldn't be surprised if we see that here once again. In fact, so it's been interesting, kind of seeing that from BMG Fusion, uh making a point that you know what we were the season three champions. Let's go back to maybe what worked for us there, <laughs> and sure enough. There we go. Wow. There's the accursed coming it. out. So yeah, I, I feel like whenever they get Valkyrie, man, they're, they're like always gonna follow up with the cursed. If you're BMG. I, I, yeah, it, it it's interesting to me because it doesn't seem like that's a like a, a very strong combination in itself. But oh my, you know what? They might creep skip. Yeah. They they might creep skip with linear. I like it. It's such a it's such a troll strat. It's such a cheese. But Maki is playing linear, so it's definitely not a jungle linear. I wonder if it, this is going to be like a cursed torture legionnaire um, creep skipping. Oh my god! I, I want to. I'm. I'm looking forward to this. This could be a really interesting game. <laughs> it's kind of funny because when you say creep skip, especially with legionnaire, it takes me all the way back to the great Las Vegas tournament, the Haunter yeah. Season One Grand Finals. Uh, I believe that was in the actual Grand Finals. It was uh, TDM at the time versus Stay Green. Um, yep. And uh, I think, yeah, TDM attempted to do this whole creep skip idea with Legionnaire. And to say the least, it, uh, you know, I, I remember it actually doing decent, but just the game overall was lost. I mean, State Green at that time especially was just so dominant. So, but uh, that that's it what was, it uh, reminds me of. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I was thinking the same. Like, they, they may, I, I don't think the Legionnaire sh skipping was a factor that lost them the game. I seem to recall that Stake Room were just like super dominant. They had a, the better draft overall. So, I mean, this this strat can work, but it has a lot of like uh, it. It can also be very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm looking forward to see how like right now complexity. They're they're thinking about the possibility of the Legionnaire uh, creep skip, and um. I'm not sure what they're going to be responding with. They have a lot of options with their Luna, the Magmus, and the Fossey on yeah. the Prisoner. Um, but, uh, yeah. Mm. So, to, to clarify what we're talking about, by the way, for people that might be wondering, the creep skip idea is so behind, you, you basically go, if you're the Hellborn in this case, you go behind the bottom tier one tower, in between the two towers, as Legionnaire and your supports, and you just tank the creep wave. And you basically... Farm the creep wave, making it really difficult on the opposition to farm their own creep wave and also making them, you know, unsure of what to do, really. It's kind of put them in panic mode. <laughs> yes, exactly. It, so. 
it's they, I, they, like, idea. it's gonna, it's gonna proc, like, the creeps are either gonna be hitting on the tower, making for a very strong push, or they're gonna start uh, chasing the, um, the enemy heroes in the lane and putting them low HP while they're trying to last it. Um, so it, it can be really hard to, um, get decent farm in a, in, when Legion is creepscaping. Mm -hmm. It's not something we see often, so, um, uh, there's a, there's a reasonable chance that, uh, that complexity are not prepared for it, but this is a long. Po oh, who was it? I think uh, Formless needed the pause. Yeah. Yeah, Formless did mention to be for before the game even started that he would need like a one to two minute pause off the bat. So, uh, I mean, mm. I'm sure they're obviously talking over strategy here too, but um, he did make a point that they would have needed one at the yeah. beginning. So shouldn't be too much longer though. We should be good getting going here with uh, game number one of the day. Obviously, uh, another good day planned ahead of us here. Six games in total we're planning to cover and. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the matchups that we have on the docket here. Let's take a look at the schedule once again. Uh, we see Fresh versus Revolutions happening currently at the same time, so keep an eye on that series. Uh, we got X Sync versus Complexity Gaming going to be coming up next, and I know a lot of people, including uh, myself, are very interested to see this X Sync team. And uh, we know that they lost yesterday in their opening matchup to the new Reason Gaming team, actually. Uh, o2 so they got a tough challenge in complexity in the next matchup so we'll look forward to casting that one bmg versus rex has reborn also going to be happening at the same time uh and then fresh versus evil corporation is the matchup we're going to be covering last obviously another good setup match there and evil corporation formerly racing gaming <laughs> is now yeah uh, no that's gonna... evil corporation yeah that's going to be fun to get used to especially when they play each other <laughs> it's going to be recent gaming versus re oh wait evil, Co evil corporation yeah you see all right, the game is kicked off by Root here. Here we go. Let's see. By the oh, way, they went Gemini. I don't even think we really mentioned that. <laughs> the Gemini no, uh, that, that, that also talking about the Roots, like Gemini was definitely one of like Nullstone's like definite go-to heroes. They played that a lot. I remember. Yeah. All right, Maki is actually heading into his own jungle. Okay, we and got Maki Valkyrie down there. Is that a mid leader? It is a mid leader, I think. Yeah, you know what, so no. maybe we're overthinking this, like, uh, almost hoping for some fun idea there, but to me, so this, again, what, what, what they did before, Kraken, I, I want to say he usually started mid, and then he mm. would rotate into the jungle eventually. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But Think. this looks like, like, right now Maki is chopping down trees, uh, making it look very much like he's going to be jungling, but Fusen, is, Fusen and, like, uh, and, and Balthazar, they're not going to rotate over. I was thinking that maybe Torture starts in the mid lane, but then, then Doctor's going to have a really tough time against Aluna um, Prisoner. So it has to be Makin in the mid lane. Yeah. And he, I guess he's just ju chopping down trees for... Oh, he's a logger. He's a uh, skin that yeah. kind of fits him. So. I mean, yeah. He's <laughs> actually just some some spare time. He's, he's, waste, he's using here on something he likes. Yeah. All right, he's heading into the mid lane. Okay, so it is a Legion mid. Yes. And then he's oh. going to rotate into the jungle eventually, probably allowing Valkyrie um, to go into the lane and have some farm, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that, that's what you get. It's like either Torture or Valkyrie, you'd figure. But yeah, if Torture leaves top lane, that could be very difficult for Doctor to yeah. have a good time. So look at Parasite, though, in the meantime. He's actually going the aggressive jungle currently, so I might catch yeah, BMG he... off guard. That's usually what you want to do when you want to put pressure on the opponent legionnaire. Um, like you go into the enemy jungle and you make sure he can't, you know, just get the easy camps without taking it like uh, a lot of damage from parasite. Yeah. But uh, what you got, they just realized it's a mid legionnaire. Um, so yeah, he's actually putting a lot of pressure on the Gemini mid. You see, a curse is already rotating. In fact, I guess they realize obviously it's a solo down there in Magmus and. I uh, figure yep. there's no point for him to be there. He's going to go to the top lane even and make it more of a trial lane here in the end. So interesting rotation yep. coming out there. Uh, but, yeah, you look at the Legionnaire, man, as you said, he's putting some good pressure out of Gemini. And, I mean, it seems Legionnaire, especially in a melee matchup, it seems like he should actually be pretty strong, right, with the, the spinning. Definitely. And... Definitely. Um, like Axe in, in Dota, I'm sorry to bring up Dota, but <laughs> the, hero are, are, the, the heroes are kind of similar. Um, and the you know, Axe in Dota, he's played in the as suicide, so I, I think maybe there's something about it. Like he's definitely he has a strong skill set for for melee matchups for sure. Yeah. So um, I I like the idea of trying something new here. All right. Well, 
Again, so far, it seems like he's 9-1 uh, and one against the Gemini's 8-0. So pretty close, Kree Farm. But again, you constantly see Gemini as he pokes in there to get some last hits. He's taking some spin damage, if anything, and yep. uh, having, to, having to deal with that. So meanwhile, up at the top, Runa. Luna running into both Torture and Accursed. But in the end, she's going to protect the top Rune right here. At least that's the idea. And she should be able to get this, actually. Um. Yep. Definitely. There's not going to be... I curse is not something you're scared of. I also think she kind of want to get into her ward at some point. Um, she noticed that Fusen placed his counter ward already. And she, uh, if you notice, like, at the pool camp, there's a, a ward from Love placed in the trees for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I figure he's going to go try to get that. Uh-oh. Parasite. Here we go. Chasing him back with the impalement. Parasite takes over the Minotaur, though. And obviously going to be more than fine. So you see Torture and Accursed. Their mission, though, is to try to get this Parasite and make his life difficult. But uh, a lot easier said than done, of course. For Definitely. Them, so. uh, you kind of need a Glacius to f for that job. That he is Glacius by far the best support against Parasite offensive jungle. Torture, his impalement has um, applications, of course, um, since there's a lot of free space and not a lot of creeps. But uh, Parasite is usually just going to be able to run away from him. Mm -hmm. How's the bottom lane going? I think Valkyrie should be doing, yeah, 17-2 and two right here. Magma 6-0. and oh, So, Boxy on Valkyrie is having a much better time than Oscar here. And, again, I don't think that's really uh, to anyone's surprise necessarily. <laughs> the matchup Not definitely favors Valkyrie quite a bit, you'd figure. So, uh, good to see that there. But also, Dr. Repulsor is actually having a very good time here at the top lane. And Prisoner, not so much. So... Uh, this this whole idea of the aggressive dual land, the Aluna prisoner, it's it's not really accomplishing a whole lot. It feels like that is surprising. That's that. I guess it's just a, a curse factor. Like they know they're against a the trial lane, so they don't really want to go aggressive, even though they have parasite. Now, okay, no, they're not going to be able to catch this guy. Right, he's a little too far. The Kami champion slow, but uh, they they've fallen back before. Yep, keeps going. But so. I mean. It's a it's a trialing it's a full trialing versus a pseudo trialing so they still get some pharma on uh, on parasite, where accursed and torture they they don't really get anything. Um, I, it's a problem that doctor is farming it so much better than uh, than prisoner is at this point. Yeah, I don't think that should be happening. Mm. Yeah, he's the mid lane. Oh, formless is actually winning the mid lane matchup here, on farm. Yeah. Yeah, 25 and 2. Yeah, he's actually managed to be pretty strong in the end. Yeah, it seemed like Legion was harassing a lot and uh, getting uh, some good creep kills because of that. But yeah, you're right. Gemini has most certainly uh, been able to manage uh, very good himself. So Legion is playing it pretty safe right now. I wonder, I guess, with the double damage rune, he's a little scared. Yeah, of that, I think but. So. Yeah. Oh, Gemini is also 6 now. Oh, top lane. Yeah, top lane. We do see the action, though. Dr. Pulsar, the shackles are on him. He's not level 6 anyways. And Bloodlust Kill going to come out for what you got right there. He comes in for the assistance. And a cursed only level 2 to, for the time being. Not enough to save Doctor in the end. So, well played right there. Meanwhile, middle lane. Ooh, Legionnaire was going for a possible kill on a Gemini if he got the spins. But doesn't happen. So, Gemini is going to be fine. Yeah. I mean, uh, Formus is actually not going to be able to be aggressive in Linear because he, like, Linear can just chop his dogs off. Like, um, they're going to be, like, if they split, they're going to still, like, they're going to proc, uh, they're going to proc his, um, his rolling blade a lot more when there's two dogs hitting. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think Formus feels like he's in the, he, he's going to have an advantage if he splits up here. Both lane, Boxy. Yeah, oh, he already see. used arrow. Yeah, Magnus okay. is, uh, Sitting in that steam bat, just leeching experience for the time being. He's very low in life and knows that's the only way. But as you point out, the arrow is going to be coming back up, so he has to make his movement happen now. Doesn't want to sit there and get hit by that, of course. So, going to be fine for now, but the regen. Okay, he does get some regen. The bottle, in fact, delivered to Magnus. And actually, Valkyrie might be in some trouble, especially what, depending on what this rune is bought him. Ooh, it's oh, a haste hey. rune. Is Gemini going for it? No, oh, he's back and forth, back and forth. Valkyrie's. Plan to save. Gemini's wondering, okay, yeah, he is going to go now. But look at, look at Valkyrie, man. Yeah, he knows. How does he know? I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking, there's no vision. He just knows, man. That was like, and he, he even went back with Gemini, went closer, and he had no vision. I was like, well, that's, like, that's some insane spidey sense right there. Yeah. Uh, Parasite in the jungle, getting, yep. 
Uh oh, that's a decapitate. There we go. Decapitate. Obviously, that's a prime advantage of getting Legionnaire so leveled up early on in the game. He gets us decapitate, and you're looking at what is it, 350 from the beginning? Yeah, 300. Uh, three. 300. 300 life yeah. or less, you are dead. So it's a great start and a good find on Parasite there for Maki and the Legionnaire. Yep. Man, Dr. Repulsor, though, again, he, tends, he continues to be the top farmer, actually. In this game, and I, and I really can't say I expected that with the way the lanes were set up right here. Mm, but no, I, I mean, I Fuzzy really doesn't want to uh, deal with the doctor's cure ability, I suppose, like because he's not even attempting to go. I mean, doctor is a really strong hero against melees because of his cure ability. Um, and then with the, the fact that there's a curse to save him all the time, uh, that just means that Fuzzy f has no like. He really doesn't want to go aggressive on him because there's a good chance that he's just going to take some damage from uh, from the cure ability and not be able to get a kill. Mm -hmm. Mid lane? Yeah, middle lane Gemini taking some pressure right there once again, but in the end going to be fine. But again, you're, you're constantly having to look at your life pool and make sure that if you hit that 300 mark and you get very close to it, then you got to fall back before a Legionnaire comes in. So yep. he's having to play pretty defensively here as a result of that, but still despite that, he once again is having great farm himself, 330 gold per minute. Not too shabby at all, but yeah, you gotta wonder when, it, okay, as I was just about to suggest, or wonder about it even, I mean, when are we gonna see rotations here? And finally, Prisoner is heading towards middle lane now. In fact, he's gonna land the hook on the Legionnaire right there. Gemini misses the follow-up stun though, but it does not matter. Magnus is there to secure it. In the end, a curse just could not get there in time, so. Gotta wonder. Um, that ward from Fusen spotted the rune, and it spotted prisoner's rotation 100%. Oh yeah. So I, I wonder why Legionnaire did. Oh, mid lane. Yep. Yeah. But Curse now also in trouble. <laughs> he was hanging around a little too long. He's not level six yet, so no chance for him really. I feel like they should have seen this these rotations and just you know played it super safe, fell back, and all of a sudden it would be four players in mid doing nothing. Yeah. But now they got two kills. Yeah, it's kind of funny how Boxy was able to react with no vision at the bottom lane so well. Yeah, <laughs> when you have vision, you're in the middle lane. 100% agree. I mean, this ward, no doubt, it spotted them rotating over. Just simply, uh, you know, maybe he figured that uh, he wasn't going to... I don't know. Maybe he just figured Prisoner wasn't exactly in this position ready to hook him. And I mean, he was playing it pretty defensively, but obviously just simply got hooked in. Meanwhile, Legionnaire now putting the taunt on a Parasite. Valkyrie, the arrow, it is going to miss right there. Cotter is coming out to Cabinet was early. And as a result, Parasite's going to live. In fact, Magnus stuns in, but just to simply save Parasite a little more. So good saves coming out and more so no kills for BMG. But in the meantime, Doctor does push down the top tower and continues to be the top farmer in the game. So that that's still the good news for B Bad Monkey Gaming here. Yep, definitely. Um, Doctor with a lot of farm is definitely going to be able to deal with the Gemini in the late game as well. The only problem is he's facing a prisoner, so I wonder if he's going to try to get that uh, get that null stone if uh, or if he's just simply gonna get beefy enough to deal with the shackle yeah uh, that's the decision he's he's facing right now yeah having the accursed is obviously a, a benefit in that case you know being able to remove that shackle with the fire shield but you have to you know he's not always gonna be right next to you of course so yeah. definitely still and if he goes Hellflower, health, yeah, he is going Hellflower. So that is exactly what he is banking on. He is 100%. He's, he's thinking Root got his back all the time, 100%. So, um, yeah, okay. That That's a fair assumption as well. Root is supposed to make sure that Doctor survives. If that is Root's only job this game, then he like he needs to be able to, to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, got to have, uh, have that trust in your teammates, of course, so... That's what a curse definitely brings to the table. I mean, you could say it's a decent uh, counter to the counter. The prisoner being a counter to the doctor, but the curse uh, again removing that counter that he has. So as long as he's nearby, should be fine. He feels like uh, it's like like the Andromeda, uh, like kind of what she does. She put, like she swaps someone out, and they like saves it, saving them. But a curse can just do it while he doesn't have to die for it. Um, Gotta wonder why they love a curse so much when they could have gotten Jerusaya. Seems like Jerusaya is, is just a little bit more awesome when it comes to you know team fighting and I don't know the magic shield as yeah. well. It like it also purchases off spells. 
It, That's actually yeah. an interesting point, yeah, because obviously they are very similar heroes. Um, now, I will say, does the charm purge off the shackle? Yes. Uh, wait. Because I, it, it's it's magic. It's not or the shackle itself is physical. Uh, then it doesn't. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, you're right. That makes sense. Yeah. So I mean, there is that interaction too, but I mean, it still is an interesting thing to bring up the idea that you know the two heroes are very similar. So why one over the other? I mean, maybe that is part of it. Of course, the curse has the physical removal, where Jarrah's is just more the magical. But I mean, obviously, the soul's blessing is much more of a powerful team fight ultimate than. Yeah. A single accursed target uh, flame consumption ulti, so. There's... They have Parasite, so they could, you know, Parasite usually picked against the Jersiah as well with True. Electrician, but I don't know. It, I, I feel like Jersiah is a hero that we don't see a lot, but still definitely has, has he could work, is what he, I'm trying to say. Yeah, he's definitely just one of those niche heroes, man. He's one of those, like, we, we will see every once in a while, and it's like, oh yeah, this hero's really good, here we go. Wins the game and then it's up. Oh, never see him again. So <laughs> yeah, it is funny how he just happen. He happens to be one of those heroes that just goes in those phases. I don't know what it is, but uh, I guess teams just uh, you know just. I, I think the laning is the biggest thing when it comes to a hero yeah. like that ultimately. Yeah. But yeah, we definitely don't see him uh, often. Mid lane, no. A a curse. See, this is what Rude is doing. He's doing a really good job. He's just sitting behind his carriers at this point, making he has a TP up so he can TP top if they go on Doctor. He's just like 100% uh, in like defense mode. He's going to be sitting behind carries when they're farming, get ready to shield them. I like that. That's good. He shouldn't be focused. He shouldn't be running around farming or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, it might be a little overkill that Fusen is doing exactly the same. I think a curse should be enough. But uh, it, it's great to see that they're doing this kind of teamwork and making sure that uh, the important hero stays alive. Yeah. Well, yeah, you see what you guys pushing it right here. Now, the Field of Rot Legionnaire, now he is going to be spotted. And actually, there is a lead. He does have his portal keys, we see. But he just can't feel comfortable going in right there. It's just obviously the Hell Cannon, so not necessarily the easiest to deal with with Parasite inside it. And in the end, it's a tower kill when four heroes poured it in to defend that tower right there from BMG. So, or they all they at least ran over there, mixed of porting and running over. But that was uh, that's pretty huge in the end for complexity, the fact that it, uh, just Parasite alone. They're going to try to go for some a play down here. Fossey just picked up his portal key as well. Oh, wow. He got a portal key, man? This early? Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he actually managed a pretty good time. I guess uh, the kill that he had or the couple of assists even that he's had. That's this definitely... ward from love on the ancients or just they, they see each other. <laughs> everyone sees everyone. Yeah. They're playing mind games. Who's going to go first? Here. There's the hook on a legionnaire. The quick follow-up. And down he goes. I mean... For seeing them, they didn't really react that quickly. <laughs> Did the Hellborn team? No, I mean, I mean, they knew he was down there. So I gotta, I gotta say that it's a really risky f farming slot, uh, spot for Maki. And I gotta question these wards here, the 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 try try warding here. That that doesn't seem like you get a whole lot of value out of. Oh, what? Yeah, that was love getting a little too, uh, a little too curious. I mean, on. you kind of just saw the entire team there. That's really ballsy. Oh well, but yeah, as you can see in the river and on top of the cliff, they, these two wards—they're they, not very nice together. Um, but yeah, so they know that there's an ancient ward now because Lydia got hooked like that. Um, and what else? We're looking at former sitting in decent farm. Oh, oh. God, fuzzy. This is fuzzy, man. You know, he had a slow start here, you know, obviously with that lane that we talked about, but got his portal key, and he's able to make some plays with it. Now, here comes a response. This should be a counter kill, maybe. Prisoner? No, he's fine for now. Deleted our ulti? No, he didn't ulti yet. And there's the portal key. goes backwards, and he's going to TP out. What a getaway from Fuzzy Sloth at the last second they see him. But it was just too late. I mean, he's got to he's gotta be making them so frustrated right now with these hooks and uh, the getaways here. That's four they people. Oh, oh, they no, want Gemini almost. now. It's then this one should be a kill. Yeah, <laughs> this time. I mean, all five practically are here. I guess torture is not, but they finally get a kill out of the Legionnaire initiation. So he's had that portal key now for a little bit, and they get their first one out of it here. At this point, he is level 11 too. So they were 450 health or less now. It will be an insta kill. Um, Doctor has to be pretty close to the health bar with that said, so that's uh, again going to be a solid pickup. And actually, they're going to try for Congor here. 
is BMG. This is a pretty early Condor attempt. I mean, they do have the vision for it with all these wards, so. I guess they got the tank too. And a uh, Legionnaire and a Curse to help, so. That, that's definitely a very strong pick up on Doctor this early. That means he can go very deep in order to try to catch someone um, and kill them and then resurrect if he gets killed. Yeah. So, okay. Interesting. Meanwhile, bot lane, Paras Parasite has been sitting down there with a Ballista and just pushing out the lane for like the last couple of like creep waves now. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's just his his role in this game, leaving someone else to uh, to farm the jungle while he's sitting and pushing in a in a Ballista. You gotta think that Alchemist Bones is uh, coming here on BMG. I mean, it's obviously already been an issue and it's gonna continue, right? So. Mm. The Alk Bones. Uh, I would uh, think either Legionary pin or Valkyrie possibly could be trying to pick it up, but. Uh, yeah. Mm, I mean, Boxy is going for Firebrand, so it doesn't look like. Boxy doesn't like to go for these farming items, but I feel like farming items are very important on Valkyrie. It, I don't know, she, she's really a heal that needs to farm um, to get a lot of these like uh, hard hitting items, and without the farming item, that's that's going to take so long. So yeah, I would I would like to see that on her as well, but he's starting with the firebrand at least. More mid lane. Yeah, Legionnaire is coming in uh, around the flank right here. He is going to be spotted by Magnus. Magnus has his own portal key now, by the way. Here comes Doctor Repulsor. Magnus he couldn't get away in time, but he's setting up some bait. However, the five second arrow finishes him off. But now Gemini splits up, looking for the kill on the Legionnaire, but the Valkyrie Prism. Gonna cause some issues. He goes back to full form. He's trying to make the getaway. And I don't know if that's gonna happen though. He didn't necessarily go the friendliest path for his team support. And in the end, he ends up going down. Parasite sends in the puzzle box minions, but that was just that. So they killed him off pretty quickly. And big fight there for Bad Monkey Gaming. The portal key of Legionnaire has definitely proven to be more and more of an impact here. And obviously, Doctor can follow it up pretty easily too. So, new coordination. Yeah, it, it feels like it feels like the strat is really working out. I I, I don't feel I I don't think be uh, complexity is really like it doesn't feel like they have an answer. They they're getting they're getting caught here, and the, the longer this game is going to continue, the the less chances they have of winning with a Valkyrie and a Doctor, um, and a Leader for that matter on the other side. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it feels like BMG really has prepared for this matchup. Yeah, I mean it's, obviously uh, they had plenty of time here. Coming into today, so and a team that uh, they have played many of times. On top of that, I mean, this is obviously one of the more notable matchups nowadays. So feeling pretty comfortable about it. I mean, the Hellflower now at Doctor Pulsar. How much time is on the token? Two twenty-five. There, so they still have a good chunk of time here to kind of reset and maybe make another push with it. Yeah, I I, I definitely say they should be forcing a fight. They they feel comfortable and comfortable. Confident in taking a fight right now. It's just are they gonna if they're gonna be pushing mid, bottom, or top? Um, that's the question. Yeah. I feel like they want to be able to. They want to go and shut the enemy jungle down at this point. So yeah, they're they're grouping up bottom. Okay, makes sense. It's probably gonna be some wards and Fusen. He has one ward with him, and yeah, they're just gonna try to take over the enemy jungle and uh, like kind of squeeze the enemy team out of a farm. And all oh, right, there's a double top bottom. I didn't even see the the, the first was the first was love. Hmm. Yeah, they're still. So, yeah, the, well, yeah, yeah, sorry. Well, here they go. I mean, into the jungle as you're just talking about and clearing it out. So I mean, it's a good response to complexity. They just figure, you know, you take over our jungle, we'll uh, kind of go into yours maybe and farm it up a little bit and also push in this top lane. But oh man, <laughs> what a sight! That was close. I'm not sure if you saw it, but. Now they definitely know that Leadner is setting up. Yeah. Let's we'll see. I mean, oh, they're, they're heading up now, play. too. So this yeah. is going to be interesting. This they're Legionnaire. waiting for Leadner here. He's going to show The guy himself. who shows first dies, I think. Or, well, Leadner is going to die if he shows. Yeah. Oh, my. Look at that tower. 5 HP. Oh, there you go. That ballista. Oh, Leadner. He's in trouble. There we go. There's the jump, the TP support. It's coming, but it's not going to be in time. Or is it? Dr. Repulsor flies in. And he's been, oh, I guess he has a token, so maybe not five-second arrow. On to uh, Gemini right there. Secures the kill. The Hellflower on to Magmas. On the counter play is successful. And BMG will gladly take that exchange right there of a two-for-one. 
getting the carry especially. So, man, it paid off in the end. The TP support, Gemini, or not Gemini, but uh, Doctor, he, uh, he boarded in and jumped in quickly. He was confident. Yeah, that's that's what the token would do for a Doctor at this point in the game. He's like, okay, I can use like 80% of my mana in, on a jump. That That's that's going to be fine because I can, I can die and resurrect. But a, do a Doctor without token would not be using that much of his mana to fly in. They are a bit more conservative with their mana until they get some more items that can help them, you know, live. Because um, Doctor is obviously a, a very squishy hero that is living on the fact that he can use his ulti to, to get out of situations. Yeah. And you see right here, the is that an, even a triple stack? I believe it is. Uh, double stack. Or a double stack. Oh, yeah, it is double stack. But anyways, uh, the Ancients of the Legion are just being stolen now by Bad Monkey Gaming, so... Their lead is getting bigger and better. Gemini really hasn't been able to get a very consistent farm going and kind of take off like I'm sure this Legion side was hoping for. Um, mm. Despite even having the double Portakia Magnus Prisoner, they just, again, haven't really been able to make the plays just yet. I think BMG's just playing it smart enough, and they're reacting to Complexity, and it's giving them the benefit here. So um, Complexity, I mean, they're trying to pick another fight middle lane, it looks oh. like. Oh, you know, uh, that's almost a blessing in disguise, I feel like, that he didn't get the jump off. But here we go. Legionnaire is going to counter now. See a lot of bursts coming out from the puzzle box. I mean, it is a nice pullback on a Doctor Pulse right there. Again, he doesn't have the token anymore. Arrow flying in. It hits Magmus, but they kill Doctor. And that's the important thing. And now the chase continues. And actually, everyone that's else it. is going to fall back. That's a misplay from on Root's side. We talked about this earlier. Root has one job. Keep Doctor alive. He, he, he used his shield on Legionnaire to save him, but you know what? That's a Legionnaire without any mana. That Legionnaire could die. He, he's, not, he's not useful to them anymore. Use it on Doctor. He is the most important hero on the team. So, yeah, I, I feel like someone's probably telling Root right now. Balthazar is probably telling Root, Root, save your shield for me almost no matter what. Yeah. And, you know, save for the right time, too. It's, you know, it's one thing. It's the damage absorption. It's nice, but yet you really want to use it for that purge effect. Uh, specifically yep. the shackle that we're getting at. And obviously there's plenty else here on this Legion side that it will help remove as well. So, uh, yeah, in these uh, future fights, I'll keep an eye out on that and see if uh, he's going to be on top of that or not. Because that, no doubt, is going to be crucial. It goes back to his build in general. I mentioned the Hellflower and probably why, because he felt like uh, he had that nice backup here. Yeah. With the occurs, and he's so. even going for a sheep stick. It looks like. I think that I think that uh, blessed orb is going to turn into a sheep. So, that's super aggressive. Top lane, Valkyrie Prison was used. I'm a little surprised Balthazar chose not to try to go for the jump there, especially with all the support coming. But he played it a little safe. Uh, he must also just barely not see them. Unless Gemini, what is he doing? Oh Formus no, Formus going on. back in. Meanwhile, down here actually, Torture runs into Magmus. Magnus knows something now. else is nearby, though. But Gemini back over to him. Yeah, you see he's definitely dropping. Look at that damage. And with the Hellflower, nothing can Gemini tend to. The whole 4.5 seconds, he dies in the process. Maki does die in response as Prisoner and Parasite pick him off. But I think uh, BMG will overall, once again, be happy with that exchange. Definitely. That was a, that was a really <sighs> ballsy position from Formus uh, going into... The enemy jungle after they had an idea that Valkyrie ulti were, was used. That's, yeah, well, that's, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you will see people TP in a position where they shouldn't be TPing and then they get gone on because, you know, you're standing still for these three seconds. Yeah. And Balthasar just saw the opportunity and it was, honestly, just, it was also Balthasar's positioning and his uh, and his Q ability that scouted Formus in the first place, so gotta give credit to Balthasar's positioning. Yeah. You see Valkyrie also just finishing the Geometer's Bane, and I believe Doctor just bought an old stone. Yep. So yep. <laughs> a little bit later. Root. I'm disappointed in you, Root. Yeah. So I'm gonna get an old stone. <laughs> I kind of wonder if that's a little bit of the logic there. He figures, all right, well this hasn't worked, so I'm just gonna get an item that'll help me at least a mm. little bit more. It also gives Root a little bit more of a backup, a little more of a time to react, obviously, in case yeah. too. So, uh, still that. I'm sure Root Aziz's objective will still be to protect Doctor at the main priority, but. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, the fact that he has that with the Hellflower now at the same time, that's obviously a very nice combination to have. A lot of regen. Oh, Legionnaire. Uh oh. Yeah, Mach is found, and 
quick burst. Parasite has the uh, Souls Bulwark picked up here. So obviously the Abyssal Skull is in the hands of Gemini. So already got that taken care of. Yep, that's a that's a lot of armor stacked against the Degenerate as well. Um, I like that. That's Normally, cool. uh, and even Prisoner has the Sackstone, so they're going super armored. As they should. Those auras always, uh, yep. always effective to have. Yeah, it's not only Pris or Legionnaire, but obviously Valkyrie is going to start dealing some more good physical damage as well. Doctor will be a lot more magic focused for the most part, but mm -hmm. still, there are definitely good reasons to have that. Uh, Armor as you're getting out there. And speaking of Legionnaire, by the way, you know, he really did have a pretty strong start, but has definitely fallen off a bit. He bought the Mighty Blade. I, I assume he's going to be going for a shrunken head here. Just yep. playing the pure initiator role. It's, uh, yeah, I, I was I was uh, thinking that as well. I mentioned, I uh, saw his score, and I was like, this guy, get it. he's getting caught too much. He had a strong start, but I feel like he's, um, Maki is usually the suicide player as well for BMG. So he's forced into these, you know, he has to create space for his team or he has to take the risky farm. Balthazar and Boxy, they're farming in the in the safe positions while he's, you know, he's like farming the enemy jungle perhaps, farming the ancients even though it's it's not safe. And he's, you know, he's getting caught out because he's farming risky. But, um, I mean, in the end, it means that they're going for Legionnaire and not Doctor and not Valkyrie. So he's kind of taking one for the team as well. Yeah. Dr. Pulsar right there, another token of life for him on top of everything, so it's definitely a very tough task right now for Complexity to, to hold off BMG with a farm doctor and the token of life, arguably one of the best heroes in the game, of course, to have that. And, you know, we've talked about the strategy in the past where it's it's one thing to say, but also the idea, though, that Dr. Pulsar, you let him use his mana, and you, you actually don't kill him. I mean, that's a strategy in fights, yep. or else you're, you're essentially helping him do what he wants. So uh, we'll see if that uh, is uh, going to come into play or not. And I believe I just saw Alk Bones purchased. Okay, Money yeah, Curse, Curse yep. gets it. Okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense. He's able to get the farm for it. He's a good candidate. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, it's it's not too late, and Parasite has not really been pushing a lot of, been able to push a lot of towers. So it's good that Curse is picking it up at least, because he, he's definitely one of the heroes that can, you know, deal with the HP loss of, uh, of a little three Mauler yeah. getting uh, consumed. I will say, you know, him having it, he's not a hero that's going to be able to jump you. And, you know, he doesn't have a portal key. He doesn't have any kind of leap style mm -hmm. ability. So he might not have as easy as a time as the others would have to actually get the Ockbones off. But still, having it again is important nonetheless for the team. And clearly going to be like, an impact. Looks like Valkyrie's going for Nullfire. Yeah. Yeah, so. I mean that's a that's a lot of like that's also the purge, and on top of that he has ge geometers, so that's even more purge for himself. So I feel like they're going very old inish on the fact that they can you know completely deal with anything that the enemy team is putting up. They're being they're building very reactive, but um, maybe they should be focusing on you know getting some damage out as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, Doctor. Might be going for the strong and head as well. So a lot of very defensive items being put up from uh, Team BMG. Yeah, definitely at that point now where they want to tank up a bit. And so you're right, you're right that their damage is not necessarily going to continue to scale. The, the greatest here as Legion of Middle Lane, a mass TP in. Magmus left behind. He portal keys just in time. And he is going to be able to TP out before he does eventually get caught right there. So... Everybody gets away. That was a mass TP to the top lane that prevented them from also pushing in the top tower. So that's uh, definitely a win there for Complexity as they get all the reaction and no deaths out of it. Um, I mean, this golden experience, it actually continues to be a lot more. I really would have thought BMG was starting to pull ahead a little bit, but it's not the case. I mean, it's very, very close. Right now, 31 minutes almost into this game. It's 2,000 in gold difference and 2,000 experience difference. In fact, in favor of uh, complexity, even for experience, at least. So, um, I don't know. Are you a little surprised yourself, like that, it's, or is that not surprised you that this is actually just overall a very even game right now? I yeah, that's that's what I was like thinking as well. Because Doctor, they, that's that's a problem with them going defensive items. They're not really putting pressure on on complexity when they could be, and I, I, I I'm surprised. I think PMG should be like five k up or something like that. Um, but instead, they're not really using the Valk ultis to gank with. The Legionnaire has 
been in a prime position to gank for a long time now, but it seems like they're just, you know, they don't really want to do that. They rather want to sit back and farm, and Complexity just does that better right now. There goes the bottom tower taken out. That's the first secondary tower destroyed. In favor yeah, of they want to use the token on Doctor. It's one minute left. Oh, wow, yeah. It's going to be wearing off here, so they're not going to be able to get a... Any kind of base push out of or anything like that. Meanwhile, what you got, he gets caught by a taunt right here in a Vagabond leader. Here comes the Alk Bones, a lockdown after. There's no chance for him to get away now. And Parasite is pulled into his death right there. So the catch this time is successful. He also popped the Valkyrie Prism, did Valkyrie right there. So I don't know, he was actually really far away from the fight. I don't know if he was responding to it, maybe hoping that uh, they could have got more. But uh, obviously it wasn't a secret by any means. <laughs> Lockery Prison was being used right there, so. But hey, he'll farm the Legion Ancients in the meantime. Top lanes. Oh yeah, Curse might be in trouble. He does not have that flame, or he does, but <laughs> too much lockdown. Just unlocked. Yeah. And he will go down in the end. So Magnus Eruption was used, to be fair, but still a good kill onto a Curse right there. And they're going to put the pressure on the top tower, actually. So, yeah, Complexity really continuing to do a good job of split pushing here, and really staying on track uh, of their objective. In fact, they're not even going to lose this middle tower, I don't think. Unless Doctor really commits to it, which he kind of is. There's the vulnerability. Uh, I don't think he's going to risk this. Well, 10 seconds on the token. His Belches mm. are going to try to make a risky play here. No. No. Like, good care players, they will usually play safe. Um, that's that's usually how you get, how you become a good care player. That's Playing safe is the best way to get Pharma. And uh, yeah, Balthazar decides to play it. He decides to play it safe. Oh. Hmm. But there's uh, there's definitely these. They're looking for a kill here, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Now, Accursed is not here. He definitely is a pretty significant part of their fights as far as defensive matters go. Um, he does port in, and he is coming in now. That, in fact, a ward of sight from Love is actually going to see that. So, complexity. We'll see uh, if they. They're not really setting up to react to anything middle lane right here, though. I don't think they even realize that they're still so close. <laughs> they're going to pick up on that now, but I think they're going to insist on just counter-pushing instead, it looks like. Here at the top lane, so. Yeah, Doctor plays it safe, and in the end, he gets a safe tower kill out of it, so. Smart by him. But Complexity, again, they're, they're, they're avoiding fights right now. They're not interested. And uh, taking these fights currently, I guess a lot of that comes down to they, they want more farm and Gemini is probably the, the big thing here. They want him to be bigger and better. Uh, Frostal Skull, I would guess, is also going to be next in line for him with that said. On top of the Geometer Spain. So I would think uh, he's going to at least want one more item, though, on top of that. He, I, it feels like he still needs a, a little bit more to be able to be a scary presence. I mean, we know Gemini can definitely be a very great carry in the late game, but um, he's going up against a tough task here in, uh, in these heroes, so. The biggest question is how is he going to be able to stay on top of heroes like Valkyrie and Dr. Repulsor, I guess. With what he yeah, has, so. I, that's, that's, uh, I was thinking that as well. He's, it looks like he's going to go for the Frostwolf, which is a kind of, you know, standard pickup on, on Gemini as well, but Th that's why I was saying that late game, I definitely give the... Oh my god, Oscar just killed Boost. Might come at a cost though, a Legionnaire locking him down with a taunt, but Max is like, well, I'll just hide in this good old steam bath of mine. A cursed, not close enough. And Magnus makes the getaway, so Oscar uh, doing a good job right there. Yeah, getting a solo kill. Well, Eruption was used, but I guess not the longest clue. I mean, well, middle lane though, Dr. Pulsar jumping Parasaur right here. Hellflower comes out. Obviously not able to jump inside any of his minions as a result, and he ends up going down, so Doctor making great use of this Hellflower constantly. Meanwhile, though, bottom tower goes down, so some one-for-one -one exchanging going on and a tower kill in favor of Complexity. So it seems like that they're constantly just doing enough to really break even in, th in these fights, if anything, or keeping it very close right here. So, And, yeah, the Frostal Skull is now just around the corner. Or Gemini. Yeah, he's gonna have a lot of trouble catching Valkyrie and Doctor, who are so mobile, with an accursed to back them up, and and a strong hit on Doctor, and both a Geo Bane and a, and Nullfire an on Valkyrie. Like late game seems so like BMG heavy at this point.
Gemini is going to be hitting hard, of course. But Doctor is not going to sit and wait for Gemini to kill him with auto attacks. He's just going to be flying away. Same with Valkyrie. She's just going to be leaving away from him. And then purging him with the null fire. So, yeah. This is definitely going to come down to Fuzzy and his ability to lock someone down with the ulti. Um, and, of course, Oscar as well. I wonder if... Get some, yeah. Well, I was going to say, I wonder if Prisoner is actually going to be getting a sheep stick here. To even help I with think that. so. I, I really think so. It's um, it's going to be good against. I'm not sure who you want a sheep stick because the curse can of course just perch it off with the shield, but so can Valkyrie with the null fire plate, mm. um, and Doctor has an all stone, so you might just want to go for Valkyrie or a curse separately. Oh, this is a but... huge catch! They find Doctor Pulsar. He's able to get the shrunken off though, and now the turn on the Magmus. Magmus will fall. Yeah, they. They didn't have a follow-up stun onto a uh, on doctor right there. Prisoner, I think it was Magnus went in first, and then Prisoner followed up with a shackle, but he didn't prison break or anything like that to try to keep nearby, and he was able to get the shrunken head off easily. So, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think even with the prison break, that uh, which is physical, doctor would be stunned, but his shrunken would still be up, so they couldn't yeah. really follow up on him. I think that was the right decision from Fuzzy, but... Um, unfortunately, they came at a cost of um, Agnes dying to that. But uh, well played from Balthasar, realizing that, uh, yeah, this is this strong ahead is going to do me a lot of good. And he gets a Frostfield play, by the way. He actually just got that here, so hmm. the next item for him, not a sheep stick, instead a uh, Frostfield play. <laughs> I guess uh, armor against both Gemini and Prisoner. Yeah, but Gemini has armor uh, penetration, right? Yes. Um, I'm not passive, exactly yeah. sure how the whole armor penetration works. I've never really looked into it. But um, is, is it like percentages? or? No, it's a, it's a flat amount. Uh, okay. It, okay. Every 16 strength in this case, you get one armor penetration. So, yeah, it's, so okay, the so fossil you... plate is still very good. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's, that's look at definitely that. an interesting point, though. Uh, yeah, they do conquer. That's the third conquer kill, by the way. And look, they, they clear out the puzzle box minions so quickly with the null fire and the Alk bones. That combination, it is really strong against Parasite. So, yeah, you really kind of wonder. Man, no fire blade, I feel like it's always one of those items that's kind of just been very undervalued. And I'll continue yeah. to say it, man, because it is. like, And especially, again, for a Parasite now, this whole idea of an Alk bones to counter him. I mean, no fire blade essentially does the same thing. To be fair, um, except if he's inside a catapult taking your true. towers. That's true. And I yeah. think I think I, I think that's the you know that's the deciding thing. That is that's the deciding factor because parasite usually if he is not against any physical damage, um, he will just you know he will recognize the opportunity for him to j sit in a lane and push the tower. Yeah. And Fossey should be very close to that sheep stick you were talking about earlier. Yeah, there's going to be some key item pickups here. I mean, the sheep stick you pointed at, you made a great point, though. No fire blood uh, cursed. I mean, they have ways to deal with it, but still having it will force them to, to react. Okay. Middle lane, Doctor flies in, but yeah, they are just illusions in the end. Yeah, he's got the token, so once again, they, like, are reckless. They, yeah, yeah, I mean, they really want to make something happen right now. They, they definitely... They rather not want to push. They rather not push base because prisoner and Magnus, um, they're kind of scary to push against. But so yeah, they're trying to get whatever they can. And there we go. You get a jump up here. They do. You see, a, a Luna starting to fall back, getting uh, purged even. A little slower. And man, they really used a, a bit to get that kill onto her. They really wanted to commit to. In fact, Legionary even popped the shrunken head as we see. Spent decision making. They they let. They let Formus run away on Gemini. Mm. That's a carry you could have killed there. Instead, they killed Eluna. Like, uh, Gemini was up the hill, caught completely off from his team, but BMG decides not to chase him with, like, some of the best chasing heroes in 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 Han. That's that that bothers me a little bit because that would that could definitely that was a game changing decision right there to not chase the Gemini. He didn't have buyback. They didn't know that, but they could have they could have poked into the base now and found out that Gemini actually is not going to buy back and defend the base. Yeah. But instead they only got a Luna and you know that kill doesn't really get you anywhere. 
Well, I mean, Doctor is just going to continue to clean up the, the jungle right here once again. And we did see a Legionnaire, by the way. Again, we mentioned the Shrunken Eddie used it. It's going to be coming out good on here shortly. It's not a huge deal there. But uh, he also goes the Parfed Armor on top of that. So always been a you know interesting item, I feel like, on, on Legionnaire. But gets it this time around to uh, follow up with Initiation as well. As Magnus, no, he's going to be fine here in the middle lane. Valkyrie continuing to farm out the top lane, though. He actually has a Steam Staff currently. Wonder what uh, plans to turn that into is actually it might be found here by just the illusions. And she'll mm. leap away before any catch happens, so good Steam getaway there. Staff. I maybe um maybe the Genjiro could be on his mind here. Hellflower, of course, also a possibility, but it could also be the wingbow. It could also be the wingbow just going with the with the smallest item first. Hmm. Um, yeah. But. Hmm. He's got a bunch. Okay, that's what he was doing. I was wondering what the hell he's doing there. He does like post haste. They're making a priority that he and Doctor now have the uh, post haste here. So I think he's going for Wingbow. He just wanted enough for the um, post haste. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, and then uh, also a buyback, and that's what he has right now. Oh, well, got complexity now. They're gonna have to defend their base somehow. You see a vulnerability going out. So the question is, do they just give up this Rax because it's a token of life, Doctor? Or they really try to defend right here. You see Gem or that's Magnus even off to the side. He has a shrunken head now, actually, to follow up with his initiation. The Rax, though, it's getting low. When are they going to go? The No Stone's taken off. You do see the shrunken head, though, pop. They're going back in on a fuzzy slot. Gemini jumps in. Meanwhile, Torturer follows up even, and Prisoner will die right off the bat. Gemini runs away right after he went in. The Rax is going to fall. Parasite goes down. Magnus still coming back in with an eruption. The Prisoner Man comes out with a Pyback Prisoner. And here we go for complexity. They say Parv Dharma is up. But Gemini, he's in split form, trying to do some good damage. He goes back in full form now as Doctor Slow. But again, if you kill him, you're helping him. They do kill him. And he's going to come right back up with full life, full mana, and a reset, baby. Magnus will go down. It's a double tap for Boxy. And again, mission accomplished really for Bad Monkey Gaming. They get the racks. They end up cleaning up several heroes, in fact. And Gemini does not have a buyback, actually. So they might be able to get more out of this, ultimately. Magnus, he's going to stun in. You see uh, pulled in on a Doctor right there from Prisoner. But Doctor is going to easily be able to fly away. A Cursed Shield helping in that case as well. Communication on point. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get the, actually a second Rax right here. It's a little too much defense coming out. As Magnus uh, did, uh, well, in a sense, kind of suicide to make sure that that was the case. But, man, uh, damage definitely done by BMG. But I think we saw, I mean, when it comes to damage output from the Legion side, uh, Gemini is, is having troubles. He was playing a very defensive throughout that whole fight because he kind of had to. Yeah, I mean, if he gets caught, he, he dies. Um, there's no one to save him. Like, there's no curse on his team or anything like that. A legionary that can jump in and just take them through the strong heads. So, it's... I don't know, I, I'm not sure why complexity is still in this game. It's, they really don't have a lot of outs here. Um, I'm not sure what they expect to happen, but... Doctor has his second item now. Instead of a token, he's going to have a sheep stick or... Yeah, a frost wolf even. Uh, he's going to be huh. super tanky. And it's not like this, their situation is going to improve with time. It's Gemini is only going to get more and more out carried. Yeah. So it, it feels it feels like they need to make something happen right now, or they're just going to dig themselves uh, a grave that just you know just keeps digging itself deeper and deeper. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely not a game that's going to be very easy to come back and win by any means for complexity and. Well, very likely more so than not. I mean, uh, in Gemini, it's, I, mean, I would argue Gemini, as far as late game potential and carries, is, is very, very strong and probably even the best in this game, frankly. But when you're 384 goal per minute and the other carry is 618 goal per minute, I mean, that's a huge gap, obviously. That's going to play a big role here in terms of uh, determining the victor. So, yeah, and again, we saw the last fight. Gemini just could never get comfortable in the fight. He, was was not really. In fact, looking at the damage charts, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's it's ten percent. It's it's all it's all right here. But Doctor Repulsor, actually, man, Balthazar has just dominated this game when it comes to damage, especially twenty three percent hero damage done. We're forty five, oh. nearly forty six minutes into a game, so he's uh, made that point. Nearly a quarter of the hero damage done by himself in this game. So, oh, that arrow, oh, it's gonna hit. Close. No. 
Um, but yeah, the wing bow and Valkyrie, that's another thing too. Obviously, the, the secondary carry in the sense they have there. And Boxy is definitely starting to hit very hard now. Quickly more so. It is uh, coming out. But yeah, the Frost of Skull is an interesting item, I, I feel, to see on a Dr. Repulsor. Um, it's that mix of bulking up, and I guess it also helps just to help kite as also keep people from running from you. Granted, Doctor usually doesn't have a huge issue with that. So I mean, it gives him uh, some good overall stats, and as I was saying, like, you're, you're talking on, on the fact that Gemini could be the hardest carry in the game. Sure, but he's never going to be able to kill Doctor. No matter how far Gemini will, uh, will get, he will never kill the Doctor, because... Doctor doesn't care about how farmed he is. How much like, Gemini could be attacking for 1k damage. Doctor's just gonna fly away from him, mm -hmm. and it, it's he, they need to lock down the doctor. And it, at this point, it's just gonna get harder and harder to get that job done. Yeah. Oh boy, Doctor's he's farming the Legion during a while. The Legion team is trying to do that as well. You see prisoners like, oh crap, what's going what, on what, here? What are they doing? He's uh, <laughs> he's realizing he's not in a good spot. Doctor's gonna fly away before too much backup comes in. Kind of just having fun with him, really. Keeping him on his toes, you could say. So, Doctor, that will go back to farming. He is level 25 now, so obviously maxed out there. But uh, another post ace, by the way, on a cursed even is. Yeah, his I mean, ace. at this point, BMG's safest course of action is just dragging out the game and get more and more farmed. Valkyrie and Doctor, at, at some point, they're just going to overwhelm the other, the other side. And um, I. I wouldn't be surprised to see them actually just wait for the Kong or wait for for some sort of pickoff before they make their next move. They they don't feel they don't they're not in any uh, haste here. They can just sit and wait. Complexity just simply playing a very passive game because they have to, but that's not going to win the, for them either. So another Kong or kills probably going to be waited for by BMG right here. You can see them even kind of grouping up in that area almost. Maybe a couple more minutes here before he respawns, but uh, going to be up shortly, and BMG will be ready to take it. They've been definitely on top of Conquer this game in general, if you like. I mean, they did a very early Conquer kill. It was around 16 and a half minutes, 17 minutes or so when they got their first Conquer kill, and here we go. The fourth one now going to be happening around the 49-minute mark. As they go right into it as soon as he spawns, and uh, he's already at half-life just about, so that's uh, wow. no time Look at to Leap react. items. What's that? Oh, demonic breastplate. Yeah, and, and iron, iron stone. stone. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. it's an interesting late item. Yeah. I, I mean it's invis, so that's it's really nice, but interesting. Maybe so. that's why he bought it. <laughs> Just saw an invis and was like, oh, okay, might as well get it. Possibly it's cheaper than a bottle. Spread it around. They already have Valkyrie mm. Prism though, so it's kind of an odd. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's I, I mean. Maybe that maybe it's just you know for good practice purposes. Yeah, you know pick up that iron stone. Like sometimes late late on, it can be worth it to buy a bottle to to bottle the double damage rune. Oh, of course, um, yeah. So this could it could be sort of the same. Yeah. I, I don't now know. they're gonna be. I yeah. think he might have sold it actually now because he has bananas here. So. Uh, it's on the ground in Congo Pit. They didn't feel like bringing it for the base oh, fight. Oh, or that too. Okay. Anywho. Yeah. They just... Oh, Magmus. He goes in with the eruption. Valkyrie's the one with a token, by the way. Doctor jumps in the background on a prisoner, though. And prisoner's having to run off the bat. Gemini, he's already running out of the fight, too. Valkyrie barely stays alive. They pull in Doctor. Remember, he does not have a token. And Doctor is... Oh, my God, he stayed alive. How is he alive? The flame shield keeps him alive in the end. Valkyrie doesn't have fall. She comes back up, though, with a token. And now she's trying to run. So actually, Complexity is able to hold pretty well right here. In fact, a nice pull from Fuzzy Sloth. Valkyrie will get the leap off of Fuzzy Sloth. A couple more auto attacks. No, not enough. Nice fire shield there. However, the shackle's out. And the chase continues. Gemini is going to get close enough to secure the kill and make the hold successful. So Complexity actually does have a good hold at the base. And giving the token to Valkyrie was a very curious decision there. Yeah. I mean, it... it if you watch the team fight, Balthazar achieved nothing. He is he's probably the most farmed hero on the team and he went on he he ran around not auto attacking. Hmm. They they're not you can't have you carry running around to do nothing in the team fight. It I don't know and else yeah. That was just really strong initiation from um complexity, but yeah, BMG not really performing well at this base push, giving some 
more time for uh, complexity to I mean, they're still behind 20k and I still don't think they have the late game but I mean well it's given a reason for complexity to stay in here is, is that what's yeah. happening here <laughs> and you can't I mean, blame sure. it early no 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 definitely I'm like it, when you win a fight like that you're not yeah. gonna be ceasing but I mean maybe they're even like like if PMG performs like like executes like this sure complexity can win um, but I still want to say that with Doctor, with the slow and the frostwolf, they should they, they he should kill something. He should keep chasing well, that something until it's dead. I, I did. I mean, from what I can tell, the last fight he 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 made a point that his target was going to be prisoner actually, in, in the in the base as 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 an issue. So Magnus went and stunned in. You know, had the eruption up and he went in. Prisoner was mm -hmm. about to follow up, but then Doctor jumped prisoner and you know kept him from then following up further. Uh, granted, prisoner, uh, but. Prisoner just started falling back, and so then Doctor, you know, wanted to thought about chase, and then he started falling back himself, and then I think Prisoner landed a big hook, which ultimately pulled him in and then held him in place with uh, the follow-up stun. So yeah, it's just a, it was definitely, I don't know if Prisoner's a bad choice, but maybe he went a little too deep into the fight rather than reacting to uh, the up front right there. Meanwhile, Valkyrie, okay, that's an illusion. But gets pulled in, so we'll keep an eye on Doctor definitely this fight here coming up and see what he's able to do because yeah they, they they definitely need him to do damage here I mean, it's very safe to say they basically like they exchanged doctor for prisoner and prisoner still managed to re-enter the fight while doctor did not so yeah it's that that was a good trade for complexity if doctor goes for a prisoner again and you know does nothing then sure they, they will take that Oh, Legionnaire jumping in, pops a barbed armor. Magnus eruption on the back on a pretty good one at that. Doctor does go in and gets Gemini. Gemini's gonna fall. He doesn't have a buyback. He bought a dancing play just before that fight. He has zero money for his two buybacks right here. However, prisoner hooks in Doctor, but not enough follow-up with Gemini did especially. Really no chance. The chase continues. There's the vote to concede. Safe to say, but formless went all in right there with the purchase and figuring he needs as much stats as possible. But he got jumped, and that clearly worked out in the benefit of uh, BMG. So that time went a little stronger for a bad monkey game and almost what you would expect with uh, where they were at in this game. So they do pull through, and they do secure the victory. Granted, complexity, they they grinded it. They they, they tried to give themselves a shot in the end, but it was too hmm. much. Doctor especially they, got too too crazy by the end. They saw the weakness, and they were like, hmm, maybe we can, maybe we can exploit this and, and actually take a win here, but... It yeah. It, in the end, BMG um, executed like Doctor in the last fight. He was he was pounding auto attacks on Gemini, and there was just nothing Gemini could do about it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so that was just well played from BMG. They closed off the game. They had a very like um, a very big lead for the most part of that game, and uh, they managed to close off the game as well.